Hey everyone, this is Harsh Bhardwaj from Simply Learn and welcome to this video on C++ header files. And in today's session, we will learn about why we need header files, then what is C++ header file. After that, we will learn about types of header files and how can we create our own header file. And at last, we will have a look at some examples of header files. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So, why we need header files? Header files allows us to assemble all the predefined functions in one place and it is helpful because it is easier to gather the declarations in one place and then use them whenever we need them. And as all the declarations are gathered in one place, so it automatically reduces the complexity and it also decreases the number of lines of code. There are many functionalities of header files. One of them is it helps in taking the input from the user and also helps in displaying the output in a program. Now let's learn what actually a C++ header file is. Header files are the set of libraries that contains predefined functions at a common place. So it basically stores the declarations at one common place and they are being used while writing a program. These header files usually have a dot h extension and we use hash include before writing the header file to inform the preprocessor that we are including this header file. Now let's discuss types of header files. There are two types of files in C++. First is predefined header file. These files are already present in C++ compiler. We simply need to import these header files using hash include which will inform the compiler about the header file and then we can write the name of the header file between the angle brackets. Next is user defined header file. These header files are defined or created by users. In C++, user can create their own header file and include it in the C++ library and it can be used whenever it is required. Now let's learn how to create this header file. In order to create your own header file, first of all we will write the C++ code which we want to use whenever we want. After that, we will save the file with .h extension. As we can see in step 1, we have written the code of two integers that are getting multiplied. And now we will include this in the program. To include this in the program, we will use hash include. And after that, we will write the name of the header file inside the angle brackets with the .h extension. Here hash include will inform the compiler that a header file is added. And now as we can see in step 2, after the declaration of two integers, we are calling the function product and passing the arguments x and y. After running this program, we will get the output as 45. Because 9 into 5 equals 45 and we don't need to worry about writing the logic of it because we have already included this header file. Now let's have a look at some examples of header files. Hash include iostream. IOStream is the header file that is used to read and write the standard input output streams. Because of this header file, we can take the input and display the output. And in case of IOStream, .h is not used because after standardization of C++, IOStream became standard header whose function is now in std namespace. Unlike earlier when functions were defined in IOStream before standardization. Next is fstream. Fstream are associated with files. It is basically used to read the information from files and write the information in it. And next is Iomanip. Iomanip is a library that is used in the manipulation of input and output statements. So these were some examples of header files. Alright guys with that we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.